Some movies seem like they're doomed to fail, but end up being massive successes. Beverly Hills Chihuahua got not one, but two sequels, while horror movies can sometimes become major franchises. Even a reboot led by Jeremy Renner wasn't the flop many people expected. These are the movies that defied expectations and struck big at the box office. In 1985, Robert Zemeckis was an unknown director who had only just made a poorly received Kurt Russell comedy. However, Universal Studios took a chance on his special effects-driven, high-concept comedy, Back to the Future, even after switching out its lead actor. The film had a budget of $19 million and ended up grossing $388.8 million at the box office. The cult classic movie, Napoleon Dynamite, made a whopping $46.1 million despite being made on a budget of only $400,000. The film's popularity among high schoolers and fans of awkward comedy propelled it to success, despite its low-quality appearance. The movie, Saw, from 2004 is said to have revolutionized horror movies in many ways and may have contributed to the popularity of escape rooms. With a budget of $1.2 million, it made over $100 million at the box office. Carrie Elwes is praised for his performance. Beverly Hills Chihuahua, starring George Lopez was a comedy family film that surprisingly pulled a box office hit with a budget of $20 million but made almost $150 million. A shock to the world of movies. Over the Hedge, 2006, may not be a household name, but it made quite the profit. With a budget of $80 million, the film went on to earn over $300 million at the box office. Proof that a title doesn't need to be well-known to be successful. Dodgeball, a true underdog story, was a massive hit back in 2004, bringing in a whopping $140 million in profit despite only having a budget of $20 million. This comedy, led by Ben Stiller, even managed to catch the attention of the news anchor, who saw it in theaters four times. Impressive numbers for a movie about dodgeball. Jaws may have been a nightmare to make, but it became the first blockbuster and changed Hollywood forever. Made for $9 million, it made a whopping $476.5 million at the box office. No wonder it's now preserved in the National Film Registry. Plus, it gave us the perfect way to describe Mark Zuckerberg. In 2003, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, brought the pirates genre back to life. The movie was a sensation, despite Johnny Depp's wacky reputation. It was a major box office success, earning $654.3 million, far surpassing its $140 million budget. It remains one of the greatest adventure films ever made. In 1997, the movie, Titanic, was released and it lived up to its hype as the most expensive movie ever made. It went on to break every box office record in history, earning over $2.2 billion worldwide. Director James Cameron also set a precedent for making three-hour movies. The budget for the movie was $200 million. The Bourne Legacy, 2012, starring Jeremy Renner surprised viewers with its success despite doubts about the lead actor. The movie made over $276 million at the box office with a budget of $125 million. However, there have been no follow-up films with Renner's character. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon stunned audiences with its mix of martial arts and fantasy. The hype was real, with 10 Oscar nominations. Made with a $17 million budget, it grossed over $213.5 million at the box office. Truly a masterpiece of foreign filmmaking. In 1977, George Lucas' Star Wars took the world by storm despite concerns it was too niche. The movie went over budget and underwent many rewrites but became a cinematic icon. The movie grossed $775.8 million, making it a huge success. The Blair Witch Project, originally made with a budget of $60,000, plus post-production costs, took the world by storm and was dubbed the scariest movie ever made. It made $145 million at the box office and pioneered the found footage genre that is still imitated but never duplicated. 
Cheapism's latest articles include a list of celebrities who wasted their money on silly things, the cost of beer and hot dogs at every MLB ballpark, the unusual things about Elvis Presley's Graceland, and the most expensive clothing items ever auctioned. They also offer tips for getting cheap concert tickets. Follow them for more content.